Hello everyone, my name is Siddharthan. Welcome to my hands on machine learning course in YouTube. In this course, currently we are discussing about statistics for machine learning. And uh, the topic of discussion for today is percentiles and quantiles. First, let's try to understand what is the importance of percentiles and quantiles. And then let's discuss about these topics in detail with suitable examples. Okay, so this is the agenda for today's video. In case you are watching my videos for the first time, I in this YouTube channel, I'm making a hands on machine learning course in Python. And if you want to learn this course from the beginning, I'll give the link for my course playlist in the description of this video. So you can check that out. Okay. So with that being said, let's get started with today's video. So what is the purpose of these measurements? So where we are going to use these measurements such as percentiles and quantiles. Let's say that we have a data set and this data set is about the annual income of all the people in a city okay so this is the data data set we have and we need to do some data analysis on this particular data so one important step that we do when it comes to data analysis is to find the distribution of data points in a data set okay so we need to find the distribution so what can be the distribution in the case of this annual income data set we may be interested in finding how many people fall in the top 10 percentage. So, you know, we are splitting the data based on the annual income. So how many people fall in the top 10 percentage and how many people fall in the uh, bottom 10 percentage or in the, you know, top 20 percentage or 30 percentage. So this is nothing but the distribution of data points in a data set, right? So this is where the measurements such as percentiles and quantiles are very helpful. Okay. So with this understanding, let's try to understand what is meant by a percentile and what is meant by a quantile. So, First, let's try to understand percentile with a definition. So percentile is a value on a scale of 100 that indicates the percent of distribution that is equal to or below it. So this is the definition and it may be a little bit confusing for you to understand based on this definition. So I'll explain you this with an example. So what you need to understand here is, so percentile can have values from 0 to 100 and it tells how many values are below a particular data point. So that is meant by a percentile. So if you have appeared in some competitive exams, so you would have heard about this percentiles. So they used to give the results based on the percentiles. So let's consider this example. Let's say that there is a comp competitive exam and the student scores about uh, 40 percentile. So 40 percentile means, the, you know, there are about 40 percentage of the people who have scored less marks than that student. Okay. So let's say that uh, there are about 1 lakh students who have appeared for the exam for that particular competitive exam and one student scored about uh, 40 percentile that means 40 percentage of the people have scored less than that particular student which means about uh, 39,999 students have scored less than him so that is meant by a percentile so it gives how many values are below a particular data point so this is meant by a percentile and now let's try to understand this with a more you know interesting example let's say that we have a data set which contains height of 15 people okay so each circle represents the height of a different people and totally we have 15 uh, people's height okay and let's say that the heights are arranged in order okay so it is arranged in ascending order so it is sorted and uh, we have a scale in centimeter okay so this particular line represents the value of height in centimeter and let's say that the height of the first person here is 160 centimeter and the height of the last person is 180 centimeter so this is the range and we have arranged all the heights in order okay so totally we have 15 values or 15 height values and the first value starts from 160 and this is the last value so the range is between 160 and 180 so here let's try to find the median of this data set okay so median is nothing but the middle value okay so once you arrange the data points in order we will try to find which is the middle value. So in this, the eighth value will become the middle value because left to it, there will be seven values and right of this middle value, there will be seven values. So this will be our median. So this red color data point is the median, median of our data set. And let's say that the height value for this particular person is 170 centimeter. So this is about the data that we have. Now let's try to find the percentile uh, of this particular data. So if you take this particular median data point, it is 50th percentile. So 50th percentile means 50 percentage of the values in the data set are less than this value. So we are taking this data points and this is 50th percentile. That means 
the other values are less than it 50 percentage other values are less than this so how you can find the percentile is take the number of values that are less than this and divide it by a uh, total number of values so here there are about seven values so you can uh, divide seven by 15 so that's how you can find the percentile so percentile is different from from percentage so that's very important to note so percentile tells us uh, how many values are less than less than a particular data point so let's take another data point so if you take this fourth data point we can calculate the percentile as how many data points are less than this so there are three data points which are less than this particular data point so it is 3 by 15 so when you divide it you get 20th percentile okay and uh, we can find the 80th percentile at this data points so this is the 13th value so 12 values are less than this so the value of this particular data point is 80th percentile so this is how uh, percentiles are also recorded in the case of competitive exam where if a person scores 90, 90th percentile that means 90 percentage of the people have scored less than that particular person so that is meant by percentiles so this will give you an idea of how the you know data point is, is distributed okay so now let's try to understand the other parameter which is quantile so quantile is a measure that tells how many values in a data set are above or below a certain limit it divides the number of the data set into equally sized subgroups so you know percentiles or quantiles are similar to each other but there is one significant difference so a quantile divides a group into equal subgroups okay whereas percentile can have any number of values so let's try to understand this with a similar example so again we have the same data set which contains height of 15 people and we have uh, arranged these height values in ascending order okay and we have a scale in centimeter and the first value is 160 centimeter and the last person has a height of 180 centimeter and we have a median value okay and now let's try to find the quantile so this is the median value which is 170 so you can see here we have uh, discussed that a quantile is something that divides the members of the data set into equally sized subgroups so if you take this median it will divide your data set into equally sized subgroups because left of this median there will be seven values and right of this median there will be seven values so it is one uh, you know quantile so this is a 0.5 or 50 percentage quantile so sometimes we refer to quantiles in 0.5 or we may represent it in 50 percentage so both of them are similar so this median value represents 0.5 or 50 percentage quantile okay so now we have this particular subgroup and there is another uh, subgroup here now this subgroups can also be divided into equally sized subgroups so if you take this particular data point it will divide this particular subgroups into two uh, subgroups again so there will be three data points here and there will be three other data points here so this will be uh, the subgroup for this case and this is the 0.25 or 25th percentage quantile and this will be our 0.75 or 75 percentage quantile so the important thing to note here is a quantile will split the data into equally sized subgroups so this is also is very helpful for us to understand how the data set is uh, distributed throughout okay so this is the purpose and uh, uses of percentiles and quantiles so in our project videos also we have tried to find the percentiles of uh, the data set so we used a function called as describe in pandas library so when you run uh, you know data frame dot describe it gives you various statistical measures including the percentile values so it will give you the 25th percentile value 50th percentile value and 75th percentile value so you can refer my uh, machine learning project videos so if you want to know more about this okay so that is all about percentiles and quantiles and i hope you have understood all the things covered in this video and i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching